So hello everyone. I hope everyone is fine. So today I will tell you about the for the weekly analysis on the forex shares. I hope you everyone have made uh, good use of it in the previous week. Uh, I hope you made also a small loss with and make a big profit. Uh, so let's start today. And so everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's start. So firstly, we will start with GBUSD. That means the British Pound versus the USD pair. So what is first of all? Uh, before we analyze the market, we have to see the in a daily time frame. What is the trend of the market? And also in the four hours, that is the for the for trend of the market. But if you are in the data, you can see a one hour time frame for the five minute in in a five minute entry and the exit point. But we have to see uh, mainly see the uh, in the weekly basis. We have to see the four hour or the daily chart. So what is the market trend? First of all, we have to know that. So this is the four hour chart of the GBP USD. And so what we are seeing is the market is in a uptrend in a four hour time frame. So if we draw a trend line, so what we can see here. So this is the new market trend now. But uh, you can also say that the why to why these two points are not touching. So if I if we make a new higher high, we have to make a new trend line. Every times it makes a new position. We have to know that if we also draw this. So what we are getting here, it means if we draw this, we can it, it, this point also we can't touch it. It means we, it does does not meet the point of the transverse trend line. So we have to always see the higher positions from the way the market is running from the beginning. So another thing is that uh, for the supported trend line. So what is the supported trend line? How is the market running? So if we draw this trend line, see this. What we are getting here? We are getting the good. This is the pattern also, and the market is. Running in that channel, but if we also ranges this uh, extend this trend line, uh, meeting the all the points, what we are getting, so we can now get here the exact point. Let's see here. So this was point a higher low and a higher low and a higher low point, and this same point are if we draw this trend line, so see that uh, this is the perfect exact is the valid trend line that the points are the meeting in the JP USD. And what could be the next uh, possible move for the GBP USD? So let's uh, tell about another thing. So what? Uh, where is the point? From the where is market is falling? The uh, market is falling strongly. That means from where is the point that the strongly sellers are entering in the market? So, so this is the main uh, psychology of the trading. That from where the market, uh, from where the sellers and the buyers are strongly. And the weekly, and where they are exiting, so that is the very necessary thing. That is the very important thing while you while trading. So now the price action technique analysis always works. Uh, the main thing always works in the trading is the psychology. Where are the sellers and the buyers strong, weak, or exiting or entering point? So now what we draw here, which this is the supportive trend line from where the market uh, from where the sellers. Enter strongly in the market. So now what we have the this one is the now the supported trend line for the for this, and what we have the order block. Now we have the order block is that and this is one this could be also the resistance for us for this point now. And market is going making the higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So this is the point we are getting in the ascending channel. And it means we are in a uptrend now. So what if the market could fall? From where the market could can fall? Uh, and the go at the higher, so that is the main important thing. So we have to make an analysis for the trade. So if you also draw one the uh, this uh, line, so what is this line showing us that? Showing. Uh, let me draw it back and make it three pixels. So now. So also I recommend to everyone while you are drawing the horizontal lines, uh, draw a right angle. Draw order block in order block from rather than drawing the in the horizontal line. Now, 
so if we see this uh, area if we see this supportive trend line so what is the market is ranging from here in a previous start that it was in a downtrend see this we can get a perfect uh, trend line the market is ranging it means not that the if we uh, the trend breaks we can enter in the market but there is also either it is in a uh, uptrend in a downtrend if the trend is changing and if you are trading in a if you are trading in a uh, break of the trend lines you will always get lost not every trend line breaks the gives us the good profit uh, it means uh, we have always in a something order block or something our resistance that ignores the market the series so if we draw this uh, this is the supportive trend line so from this same point from the same point the market changes reverse or trend changes it means we are not in a uptrend it means we are still in a downtrend we have to follow the trend we do we have to not go against to the trend that is the main purpose is while we are trading so this is the point and another thing is that what we have got here if you also draw one uh, small trend line so what do you get here so this is the bearish triangle it means we are, if you also see the chart patterns we are in a bearish trend it means a bearish uh chart pattern and be a bearish triangle now always we have to wait for the market and where what are the what means the retailers so what they do retailers where are the entry for the retailers are that that this one is the retailers because the, they have already seen the market has break the previous support break the support and we have now we have to now enter in the market so that's not the way for the trading guys you have to always see the proper and the strongest movement while a uh, breaking of the supportive or the another uh, resistance trend line so market has fallen in one break two breaks and this means this is the new because it does not uh, buyers have no chances for the make in a uptrend it means there is still strong sellers in the market and holding some positions in the market so now so this one is the retest this one uh, is the strongest fall zone now we have to wait for this area and the market could again Such as market could again uh, reach to this area in the supportive this trend line. So see this what we get here. The main focus. The main focus for that is it can come to the retest. Either it uh, how much fall we have to ignore that. Uh, then this one is the main support uh, strongest resistance and it has break. Now what is going here? The market has came to it. Here came to here. This one is the now this one is the retest area for the market for the dvd channel and market has reversed now what we have the next possible analysis for this trend now if we see here the market has already the market can goes up to make it uh it, it can continue this area from this trend line the, for the previous supportive area this on the previous support area market can reach to this area but if we see in a in an in a 4 hour time frame it is in a downtrend showing in a downtrend but if it is in a 4 hour chart in a previous chart as we are in a still in a uptrend so now if we draw this uh, area so what we can get so this one could be a uh, bearish uh, triangle okay uh, now uh, let's delete this so we have to focus always the maximums of the we have to always focus that the trend of the market and the buyers and the sellers where are they coming so if the market uh, sellers have already exited at this point not more but strong stronger sellers are string trying to uh, fall the market so now it can go the next uh, bullish point but if we see in a liquidity so this one is the liquidity now in the market so to continue to the bullish trend the market should have to break this liquidity but if it got rejected we can again got a reversal from at this point to continue downtrend now so this can and one is the order block where will be the order block for us now so this one is the order block the market can also fall from this area so we have no any confirmation we have to always go against to the we, we will not go against to the trend but according to seeing our the chart we have the market behavior what is the giving the market either there is a strong strong sellers so see that this is the point from where the market has uh, buyers have strongly and came to any point if we draw a trend line uh, see this if we draw a trend this is the next uh, pointed 
Now, this is the point. This is any point where the buyers have exited. All the buyers have exited in the market now. Now, what we have can see there is no buyers in the market and the strongest sellers have entered in the market. From this point, the, the point, this is the point where the market, uh, where the buyers have exited, uh, buyed, strongly buyers. And in the same point, the seller uh, falls to uh, at the same area. This means this is the price where the buyers have the entry and the, again the seller uh, continues to, to the buyer sales to uh, make the new higher high. It means we can get a three expectation, three, three possible moves we can get from this area and where will other take profit? For if it, the town continues in the uptrend, the, it can be, it could be the next possible move and the next possible target for us for the swing trade. And if the market continue, if the market falls from this order block, we can continue to get a in a new uh, new profit will be new take profit will be at this area. And if it also breaks and continues to the downtrend, we can get a next uh, uh, we can get a next profit take profit area to this area. But also if we see this area. So this is the point where the seller, where the buyers are, uh, fail to, uh, fail to make a new higher high at this area. So this will be the next target. For this also, if this continue, if this liquidity ejected from the buyers, then it could, then the same area take profit will be, same will be the take profit. So you have to always use the psychology of the market where the buyers are exiting and the sellers are exiting in the market. So that is the main thing. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please like and share with your friends. Thank you guys.